Hi, my name's Nicholas, and today we're going to be unboxing our new playback device, the Entec S Play. Let's open this box. So let's have a look what's inside the box. Got a README card with a link to the instruction manual. I have a Ethernet cable. Some rack mount ears so allow me to mount the S Play in a rack, under a table, or even in a hole in the wall if I want. I've got a power adapter with plugs for all the regions in the world. And lastly, the actual S Play product. So, on this S Play, what do we find? Let me explain you its features. We have our USB port that can be used for show backup, so exporting files out of the S Play into another unit or importing files into it. We have an SD card that's used to store the shows. We have a screen that gives you status information and IP address of the unit. And we have buttons here to navigate the menu. On the back of the S-Play, we have our DC input with a restraining clip, so we can actually attach the DC cable to the back of the unit, stopping it from falling out. We can also power the unit through PoE via the Ethernet port here. We have four digital inputs that can be used by motion sensors, pressure sensors, or even a simple push button allowing users to trigger sequences based on those external events. We have two relay outputs with normally closed and normally open contacts exposed. That can be used inside your clueless to trigger external events, start motors, start lights, anything that requires a contact closure. We have an ethernet port, allows you to communicate with the web page inside the unit, but also stream multiple protocols like ARPNET, streaming ACN. We have our two full DMX ports, fully configurable in refresh rate and number of channels. And we have an RS-232 port that can be used to trigger other devices, like for example, projectors or any other kind of equipment that still relies on RS-232. The s is out now and available on our website, entech.com or your regular dealer. If you want to know more about the s make sure you check out our next videos where we'll go over usage of s programming, configuration and all the good details that you need to know about when you get your s -Play.